Hello friends and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the Democratic Republic of Congo flag. This is a beautiful flag, belongs to a beautiful country in Africa. I really do believe that you are going to learn something new today about this flag and kindly don't forget to hit that beautiful subscribe button if you haven't already. Like, comment and let's hop right into making this beautiful flag. So the materials you'll require are the 0.30 millimeters fishing line and of course beads that have the correct color scheme that matches this beautiful flag which is blue, um, yellow and red. Okay so you'll also need a nail cutter to cut your fishing line with and let's start this. So we are going to use the right angle weave pattern, okay, and um, here we are going to begin with um, two uh, yellow beads on the right and two blue beads on the left, and then we crisscross on the one blue bead like that. You should have a star that looks like this. So we proceed, um, we pick a blue bead on the right, a blue bead on the left, and a final blue bead on the right and crisscross on it and um, we continue so we have started from the bottom left bit of the flag making our way up to the point uh, where we will make the star so we are continuing if it's your first time here kindly consider to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that any time we post something new, you'd be first to know. Um, as you can see, we're making good progress on uh, making this beautiful um, DRC flag. If you know something about the flag, kindly let us know in the comment section down below. What do the what does the star symbolize? What does the blue mean in this flag? What does the red stripe and yellow stripe represent? Kindly let us know down on the comment section below. And um, I would also like to remind you guys that the skills that you gain here are skill sets that you can use to earn some extra income on the side. Um, this is something that you can start as a hobby. You can start part-time after your normal uh, nine to five job you can start it on the side and also as you improve and um, gain mastery of this skill you can be able to make products um, that you can sell and make some extra money okay so um, like for example this um, flag is something that if you are abroad and you belong to DRC, um, you can be able to make and sell to your fellow um, uh, countrymen and you can earn some extra money. So kindly take this skill seriously. Um, if it's your first time to try out bidding, I would uh, recommend that you start with the beginner's tutorial on how to uh, do the right angle with where you can use one color so that you can understand how to do uh, the right angle with first before you uh, perfect and uh, practice and come to this because this has got um, shapes it has got uh, multiple colors so i will drink it to be a tutorial meant for someone who has a bit of experience in uh, the right angle weave okay and um, you can check our playlists um, we do have uh, tutorials based on uh, right angle weave uh, patterns introduction and um, where you can be able to practice and learn how to do this uh, slowly before you get here uh, as you can see here I'm almost uh, doing the star. I've already introduced one yellow bead at the top. 
and I'm making my way to uh, the bottom of this star. As you can see, that was a mistake. I'd put a blue bead on the wrong bit. And um, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, that's the uh, star I'm making now, the yellow bit. Okay. So if you are trying out beading, one thing that I'd really uh, emphasize on my uh, tutorials is you really need to be patient and also you need to know that uh, beading is something that you learn more through your mistakes okay so you do not need to uh, think that you have to be perfect to do beading no you just need to try practice a lot there is a lot of practice that is required there's a lot of mistakes that you're going to make. But the thing is, you really need to be patient. You really need not to give up because um, you're going to do uh, your work and realize that you did a mistake and do the whole bit um, and redo it again. So bidding is something that really teaches you how to be patient. It's sort of like a form of therapy. If uh, you would like some art therapy i strongly recommend that you try out beading because it will teach you how to become how to be patient how to um, be very keen at uh, the things that you're doing and as you can see one bead at a time you end up making something that is very beautiful something that will really stun you and um Every day you, you accomplish doing such a task, you're really, really going to be excited. It really, the joy of making something from scratch to the end with your hands is something that you cannot match with any other thing. I really hope you try this out and um, you can let me know in the feedback on the comment section down below how it felt to f accomplish um, or make that product that you had really wanted to do okay so as you can see here we're making quite some good progress on um, our DRC flag the Democratic Republic of Congo and um, this was a request by one of you guys so if you would like another flag of another country kindly let me know on the comment section down below and um, i will make it my objective to make that flag i really want to try out and make um, all the country flags in the world if that's possible and so kindly stay tuned and um, let's see where this journey is going to take us i'm also really um thankful for all the feedback all the comments that you guys keep uh coming um they really motivate and give me morale to keep on producing more content for you guys and um i would like to urge you to keep on the comments coming and also you can be part of this family by checking out the community tab uh, of this channel where i constantly post um challenges um new uh products that we are making and also uh things that you guys have been able to make that uh you've sent to me uh, so I post them there so that it can motivate other people to see um, that someone was able to start from knowing nothing about beading, just from our tutorials, and was able to uh, accomplish something. Um, recently, there is someone who was able to do the 3D Minion that we did a tutorial on earlier on, and also someone else uh, did the... Uh, 3d guitar and 
give me the feedback. Uh, it was really impressive to see uh, what you guys have been able to be inspired to do. And um, one of the questions that uh, I keep getting is how do I price my uh, beaded product? Um, there's quite a number of factors that you need to consider uh, when uh, pricing your beaded product. Um, one is time, the amount of time that you took to uh, make your product. And also number two is uh, the complexity of the project. For example, this um, flag that you're making here is not that complex compared to making a 3D guitar. Okay, so definitely the price of this flag and the 3D guitar are going to be slightly different. The guitar is going to be slightly higher. Also, the skills required to um, make that specific product are going to be uh, different. Okay, because also the skills you'll require to make the 3D guitar are not the same skill set that you're going to require to make this flag that I'm making here. Um, also, the attention to detail and the experience that you have, those are some of the factors that you're supposed to consider when pricing your product. I really hope that you guys try out uh, bidding so that you can be able to understand what I am talking about here. Also, I do have testimonials of uh, people who are able to t to make beadwork and uh, sell this product, their products to people and make some money and they're currently doing so. Other people who are full-time beaders have been able to improve their skill set, um, try out new things. Um, people who never... Uh, tried out beading were inspired by these videos uh, got some beads and tried out something new um, so i'm really grateful for the feedback um, you can also uh, check out more feedback on what other people were able to do on uh, the community tab so kindly occasionally pass by the community tab we do have uh, numerous um, questionnaires um, we get to vote so you can check it out and um, among the reasons I do these videos is so that I could inspire you guys to try out bidding uh, motivate you guys to do bidding and kind of uh, keep this culture of bidding um, living into the new generation and also, I would also like people to respect um, beading and make more people understand more about beading. And as you can see here, we are just almost finishing making our beautiful DRC flag. And also, one of the reasons why I do these tutorials is to teach you guys how to make some extra cash or some extra income into your pocket. So if uh, these um, reasons did um, inspire you to start bidding or if you uh, found this to be inspiring, kindly let me know in the comment section down below. One thing that um, guys need to understand about bidding is it does take a lot of time a lot of skill um, so if you find someone bidding uh, kindly um, help them out buy that uh, product from them and um, help also inspire them okay so as you can see we've managed to do our be our beautiful uh, democratic republic of congo flag it really looks amazing in person. And um, I decided to try out the African map. Let me know, what do you think of the African map that I've done here? 
so if you've made it to this far thank you so much i really hope to see you on our next video and um, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already